Shalom party people and welcome to the 12th C. It is December 8, 2022. Oh, day 68 of 75 hard. I ran three miles this morning at approximately 520-ish. Um, it was 42, 43 degrees Fahrenheit when I ran. I uh, did my three miles in yeah 25 minutes, give or take. Um, so nothing special, but not regressing, which is good. Um, I did my photo, my gallon. I weighed in at 201.6, so I am climbing back up a little bit on the scale, and that's on me. Um, I was trying to watch my portions today. I had peanut butter, banana, oatmeal for breakfast, par usage. Um, I had some uh, some rice and some chicken teriyaki and some uh, beef and broccoli for lunch and then let's see i had uh some beef vegetable potato stew leftover of that um, with an apple and a bowl of rice check cereal for dinner um, all in all just keep on keeping on i did the last two chapters of james and then first and second peter for my bible reading and then working through uh, still in chapter two of resistance operating concepts, uh, this go round on these 10 pages was about uh, uh, recruitment and um, intelligence networks. And this is something that I know a little about on my own. Um, previous, uh, previous job I had, I was working in a corrections environment and I was running a program and the program that I was running kind of required that I would be able to have some information on people when I needed it uh, because those those people that were um, under my charge, um, I needed to know that they could be trusted with certain things. And uh, being in a corrections environment, the, these individuals were typically people who um, were just not going to be viewed as as trustworthy um, as if they were not in a corrections environment, and so that that played into some things, uh, and so you know I had some criteria on who I was looking for and you know what what qualities they would have about them, uh, and the recruitment process you know some of it was done internally through hey you know I know somebody who knows somebody that you know is probably going to be good at this or you know whatever. But a lot of that actually played in from some of the intelligence networks that I was able to uh, take over and help build and grow. Uh, the, I, I actually inherited a snitch network that was very good. Uh, now the information that I would get would usually be skewed because I would never always get all of the information and I would rarely get some of the information. So that just kind of played into some things. Um, but I was also able to help grow that. And some of it was, um, you know, certain things that didn't matter being able to look the other way. Some of it was um, the respect that I was able to command just by being straightforward and honest with people. You know, not telling them things that they don't need to know, but not giving them the runaround either. And that um, little bit of rapport would go a long way. Um, there were instances where somebody would have something that was just nuisance contraband and you may have some staff members who would you know write them up for something that was really petty and it's like hey listen I'm, I'm not about that life but if this becomes a problem it will be um, and um, by the way um, if I if I come and ask you questions at some point you're allowed to tell me no and I won't take that against you you're allowed to tell me hey um, I prefer not to answer and I won't take that against you, but if you find it in your good graces to um, get me an answer, or if you wanted to, you know, not answer, and I just so happened to get a note slid underneath my door that wasn't signed or anything like that, you know, maybe maybe that information would come to me one way or the other. Um, and I'd never ask you a question that will compromise you, I'd never ask you a question that will, um, you know, bring harm to you. And that was a, uh, a way that I could, uh, when I needed to know something about somebody, uh, 
you know, I may not get all the information, but they'd say, yes, this person is a good choice or no, this person is not a good choice. Or maybe you need to look a little bit harder at uh, the paperwork that you have access to. And that will probably tell you what that person is about. Other times that intelligence network was very useful in making sure that um, people who had things that they had no business having um, were found out very quickly. Um, other times that that network would be used to um, alert us when an incident had happened that we needed to go review cameras. Um, and that was very helpful. Uh, so having some intelligence networks are good. Now, most, most of the intelligence network that I was dealing with was all human intelligence. And the human intelligence side of things can be very skewed because, um, you know, you can only go off of what you know, otherwise you're repeating rumors. And uh, sometimes what you know isn't right. So you always had to weigh those with a grain of salt. Uh, as far as building up networks, a lot of it comes down to being a people person and being able to engage with individuals and have a conversation and they, they realize that you're genuine and upfront. And then also knowing what questions you can't ask, because sometimes you may ask something and either they will, they will tell you something that is not true or they won't tell you something. Or if they do tell you the right answer to that question, that could put them in a very precarious situation. So uh, a, a lot of it just kind of comes down to being able to read people. But um, so that's something that comes with practice as far as, you know, on the outside world outside of a corrections environment, you know, it is good to be able to know people, it is good to be able to rub shoulders with people, um, and be able to, hey, did you hear that, you know, so and so lost their job? Like, oh, no, I didn't hear nothing about that. And it's not that we're trying to be the town gossip or anything, but being able to, you know, keep our ears open and in good conversations with people, um, start piecing some information together as we as we hear things. And there's nothing wrong with having notebooks. There's nothing wrong with um, anything like that. And, you know, it's, it's up to you what you do with that information. As far as I'm concerned, I think that uh, just having, you know, good relationship with your neighbors, just... Uh, being able to sit down and talk with people um, really opens a lot of doors. Uh, and knowing who needs help, who to pray for, who to um, stay away from, you know, that that kind of information goes a long way. Uh, and, and how we gain a lot of that is through peer-to-peer -peer interaction with the people around us. So. Something hard that you can do is go get to know your neighbors because, you know, I, I hate that we live in a world where uh, it's acceptable for us to, to wave in passing but not actually take time, slow down, and, and talk to the people that live around us because um, you may realize you live in the wrong neighborhood and you may realize that you live in the best neighborhood ever and you just didn't know it. Uh, get to know people file away information as it comes available to you. It, it'll help you have a little bit broader picture of the world. But go do hard things.